Now, you may not have picked up on that, but I just dubbed in the clunk. I didn't want to jar this loose here. And uh, we are not going to have a rollback. I did not come back to the model table yesterday afternoon or evening. Anyway, uh, speaking of Kevin, what I'm about to tell you might affect you, Kevin, and that is that uh, I was out uh, looking out my back window th this morning, and the reason for that is because one, one of my uh, surveillance cameras went dead. It's the one that's attached just above the back window that looks at the horizon where the... Uh, we, we, what, did, what did we call it? Our, our, our sunrise horizon camera or something? Anyway, uh, I put it up last fall. And, it, and it's been blinking on and off and, and now all of a sudden it's, it's not on at all. So I thought, well, maybe we've got a connection problem. And being as it was really handy to get at the connection just right outside the, the back window, I tried to clean it off. Uh, still not working. So I guess I'll have to wait till the warmer weather uh, comes and... No, I, I get off the subject easy, don't I? I should tell you a story about a guy I knew that uh, did that sort of thing. It used to really irk my mother. <laughs> anyway, so what I'm about to say could affect you, Kevin, and that is that there is uh, a Colorado low moving in and my neighbor when I was looking out the back window told me about it so I, I I checked to see and sure enough and and we might have as much as 20 inches of snow or 60 centimeters uh, <laughs> uh, on Thursday and now the, the, that's the good news it's not here yet and the, and also they're saying it could change you know, it could it could be we won't get snow, we'll just get rain, you know. Well, rain sort of will run away. Uh, and you know, the, the, our, our fields, uh, like the farmers are probably happy for all this moisture because I think we were pretty dry. Uh, so th this is sort of a, another good thing. Uh, but it w would not be the first blizzard that we had in, in April. Uh, like I've said before, this sort of thing uh, can happen here in Winnipeg this time of year. We can have really nice or we can have really terrible. Now it sounds like we might be getting really terrible. <laughs> okay, let's let's sort of see if we can continue on here. Um, and uh, I'm probably going to be using, uh, I don't know, prob probably the CA Thin. I'll just try and tack it in place very, very carefully. We'll, we'll stick the macro lens on here and and uh, get ourselves in nice and close and try and get that thing adhered to the turret. Um, it's, it seems to me I have to straighten it yet. It's Like I say, it's, it's the same way as it was when I shut down yesterday. So, uh, okay, let's get at it. Now, you might remember from yesterday I was saying that it needed a very, very slight adjustment. I had to move it just slightly. Well, it still has to be moved just slightly. And you will remember from when we made the original holder downer for the Bismarck, which is, you're looking at it right now, made it out of a uh, a sewing needle with the, with the head filed off. And we were, we were using it as a holder downer and uh, also made another one that we use as the applicator for the CA glue. You'll probably be seeing that in a minute. But on the other end of this holder downer, there was just an, an ordinary pinhead that we had we had filed it down so that it, it will catch when you pull, but it would not catch on the other side when, when you pull it up out from under a railing or something like that. It was, it was filed off, in other words. So, now, wh where was I going with this? Remember I said I get off the subject? Okay, if I use this one, uh, I, I would have to be careful that, that I don't catch, you know, like, like if I go in like this, I'm, I'm being very careful here, 
but I have a tendency when I remove it to lift up a little bit or whatever. So I'm not going to use this, even though I probably could here. Let's use the uh, the blunt end of this one here. We just we just want to move it just a little bit and hope that it doesn't fall off the back. Yeah, just let me look in the monitor. I may have gone a fraction of a millimeter too far. Now let me check. That looks good to me. Look good to you? Okay, let's get our uh, CA glue going here. Okay, this is the other applicator. You know what? It needs cleaning off. Oh, well, let's just try it here and see what happens. can see that both of those little photo etch uh, prongs you might call them are uh, yeah it looks good to me from the, my perspective now your perspective is a whole lot better than mine Okay, now, if I've remembered to uh, insert the snapshots that I just took, you'll see that I've turned the camera around 180 degrees. And quite often I have a disaster when I try this sort of thing because I'm getting kind of clumsy. And I usually knock something over. But so far, so good. Now you will remember yesterday morning real early we put out fresh carrots. And then I forgot to tell you how it went during the day. Well, it went really well. About six minutes after I'd put them out, they got a visitor. Then about 11 o'clock last night, the last nibble was nipped. Now not to worry, I did put out more fresh carrots this morning, and they are being appreciated. I did not time it, but I'm thinking probably a couple of hours has passed here since we put this on. It, it does appear to have cured. So I think we're going to just carefully take our holder downer off now. Yeah, that's on there. Now, it seems to me I was thinking yesterday that the holder downer would, would not bend the ladder down. Or if it did, it would, wouldn't stay that way. But I'm noticing that there is a, a, little bit of a, a little bit of a bow to it. But I don't think it's going to be noticeable. Now, this afternoon later on, I'm planning on finding the shell that needs to have the Hole drilled, holes drilled in it for the uh, for the uh, catapult, but that's going to have to be in tomorrow's rollback. Um, I'm going to take a bit of a pause here, and uh, yeah, thanks for watching, everybody, and all being well, we'll be seeing you tomorrow. Forgot it. Forgot about the pizza day. Uh, well, it might be a blessing in disguise. Uh, first of all, 
I forgot to make pizza last night or this morning, so that there is no pizza. The one I made last week, I, uh, I ate it. Uh, I'm not going to make one now just so that I can have a plate to slowly turn around and drive everybody crazy. Uh, and besides, do I look like I need it? <laughs> We're going to skip pizza day uh, this week. Sorry about that. Uh, but all being well, we'll do it next pizza day. Uh, okay. Yeah. Uh, thanks for watching. We'll see you tomorrow.